You ever try to search for something and get the results that aren't even close to what you wanted or even meant? There's a way AI can help with that. Fencing? You gotta be kidding me. Sometimes our searches or queries have double meanings, and that can lead to some confusing and irrelevant results. In the world of tech, there are three types of searches, heads, tails, and torsos. A head query is one that people search a lot, and those words occur a lot in our set of data. It leads to the majority of clicks and successful outcomes like engagement, views, or purchases. A torso query occurs less often and usually leads to fewer clicks. It means some people get what they're looking for, others not. A tail query is one that's just way off. It doesn't happen often and the results aren't very on point. It doesn't get that many clicks either. But a lot of the time, it's just word order or a spelling problem. Let's take it back to Miss Harris. Remember our kindergarten teacher? It's finger paint season in her class and those colorful little hands are finding their way all over her new iPad. She searches and gets back no results because the word iPad is misspelled. That makes this a tail query. Then Ms. Harris types in and bam. She gets exactly what she's looking for. It's pretty specific. Not something most people are searching so this makes it a torso query. Miss Harris knew to narrow down her search to get what she wanted. By now, everyone would do that. That's why tail searches are so important. They're missed opportunities. So how can we turn no clicks into successful ones? By looking at signals. Remember those? For head and tail analysis to work, you need tons of signals to work from. These signals let the computer spot patterns and figure out intent, or what the user probably meant by that search. AI can be used to turn tail queries into head queries. It can spot misspellings, word orders, synonyms, and all of that to fix the queries. Now, fixing a tail query makes sense for most. It doesn't always make sense for torso queries, especially when someone clearly has an interest in a topic. Like with Miss Harris. She's looking for a red iPad case, so we don't want to change that to iPad cases. She knows what she wants and doesn't really have any interest in looking at all the other iPad cases out there. Simply by getting to know us and our patterns, machines will be able to cut back on all the eye rolling moments of, wow, that's not what I meant. Because clearly, I didn't mean I wanted to take up fencing, even though it does look pretty awesome. <laughs> For more information on things AI, subscribe to this channel and check out these other videos.